day beautiful people is Wendy here back with again with a video about relaxed hair so as usual I'm doing my thing and as I'm doing my thing I am filming and I'm committed to make this video as short as possible okay and so let's get started so basically um, today I want to explain the reason why I may or may not apply my deep conditioner before or after shampoo. So first of all, um, I deep conditioned overnight and uh, I just removed my uh, little cap to make sure that the heat that comes from your body helps the product to actually uh, get into the shaft of your hair. So what did I do this time? So I deep condition once a week. To the, this weekend, I chose to apply OC SOS Deep Repair Conditioner. And as you can see, I really do use it because um, the thing is a, a little product is almost empty I absolutely love this conditioner I feel like it's probably the best if you don't want to spend too much money but you still want to get some result and you, you still want to feel like your hair is moisturized and not dry so this time I chose to apply the deep conditioner on my hair before shampoo meaning that my hair was absolutely dry and except for the fact that uh, I moisturized and I seal um, during the week but I did not shampoo my hair before I applied the deep conditioner before shampooing my hair which I haven't done yet and I'm going to do so right after the video um, and the reason why First of all, I like for my product to get into the shaft of my hair as much as possible. So when you shampoo your hair and your hair is damp, it's absolutely fine to apply a deep conditioner, but if your hair is not a little bit full of water and you apply the product on dry hair, you actually have more product getting into the shaft of your hair. So I'm gonna repeat myself to make sure that it's kind of clear. So when you shampoo your hair, and then it's not so much about the shampoo to be, uh, to be honest, it's more about having um, water in the shaft of your hair. So if your hair is damp, you're going to have a little bit of water still into the shaft of your hair, which is fine. And then you apply your conditioner and that's that's fine it's water water is the perfect uh, base for deep conditioning your hair but that means that some of the product is not gonna get all the way in all the way in the shaft of your hair and i want it <laughs> for this weekend i wanted the product to get all the way in all the way in the shaft of my hair so that's why sometimes I choose to deep condition before shampooing my hair or I choose to shampoo my hair and then apply a conditioner. So when I do deep condition before shampooing my hair, I'm looking for a very, for a treatment. Uh, I know that OC is very inexpensive, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It's one of my staple, and I know that this bad boy right there is going to really moisturize my hair. It's a very moisturizing conditioner. Or another uh, deep conditioner that I use before shampooing is a mask. I love the Kerastase. Um, a resistance mask for damaged hair um, these are my staples before shampooing my hair 
and then if I decide to shampoo my hair and then apply the deep conditioner I would go for OFX uh, the keratin one I will uh, put the the name of the product uh, down below but basically depending on how much I want the product to get into my shaft I decide whether I apply the product before or after shampooing my hair so right now my hair is absolutely moisturized and I cannot wait to get in the shower and feel how kind of silky the product the product is gonna make my hair feel um, once again really 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 like the OC SOS deep repair chef's kiss unexpensive it works great what more do you want so that's pretty much the reason why there is sometimes this debate regarding when do you apply your deep conditioner or when you don't apply you can do both it depends on the state of your hair and what you would like to achieve and what product you're using i'm not going to waste the sos um, by shampooing my hair before because I want this to get all the way in and then another moisturizer like um, OFX if my hair is um is feeling good it's not uh, too dry and I just want to deep condition my hair um, after shampooing but I don't really care if um, really what type of conditioner I'm using I just want it to condition my hair that's what I would use um, and also one more reason <clears throat> I was about to forget about that it depends if I'm wearing my hair down or not if I'm wearing my hair down of course I'm going to deep condition before shampooing my hair because if I'm wearing my hair down I want to have some movement I don't want it to be too too flat or like heavy um, with the um, the conditioner is still being in my hair so that's pretty much what I do so just a quick recap if my hair needs some extra moisturizer moisturization moisturization you understood okay I choose to apply the conditioner before shampooing if I choose to wear my hair down I'm deep conditioning before shampooing so that my hair has movement and um, that's pretty much it so let me know down below if it was helpful what do you choose to do do you only deep condition your hair before or only after shampooing and tell me why and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for today's video much love going to shampoo my hair really quickly and blow dry let me know if you would like to know how I blow dry my hair when i wear my hair down all right it was wendy bisou peace in the middle east Mwah.